Thank you, uh, uh, Vincent, and warm Pacific greetings to everybody. Um, and Iorana to uh, Jean-Marc and Laurent and also Vincent, nice to see you. And I'm glad that uh, uh, what we're going to present is in line with what you're doing uh, in your respective uh, destination as well as the resort itself. Um, Thank you to the organizers to pick for the opportunity. Um, my presenta uh, presentation is, is done by myself and also our team in Suva. And the presentation outline will be just Espito in brief, our strategic plan, which has been refined because of the impact of COVID-19 and other changes. We'll also uh, introduce you to our new Pacific Sustainable Tourism Policy Framework for the whole region. Uh, what we are thinking for reviving and sustaining tourism in the Pacific, our regional aspirations, and also uh, the role of aid partners uh, in, with, in helping us uh, because we can't do this and the way forward for a post-pandemic Pacific. Um, in terms of who we are in the Pacific, in terms of who SPTO is, we were established in 1983 and based in Suva, Fiji. We're the only intergovernmental regional organization for tourism in the region. Our mandate is to market and develop tourism in the Pacific. We work in cooperation with our 20 Pacific um, member countries and over about uh, over 100 private sector members. Our membership ranges from uh, Rapa Nui in the east right up to the Republic of Marshall Islands on the map here, to Timor-Leste and down to the Kingdom of Tonga in the south. So in terms of uh, COVID-19, uh, although it's been challenging and, and, and we have shared with all other destinations in the world, uh, and we've had our fair share of negative impact. And I'm not gonna dwell on it, but just I'll, I'll give you uh, highlights of it in terms of tourist arrivals, air and cruise, uh, comparing 2019 and 2020, it's been a plunge of about 80%. Our tourism revenue uh, dropped for the Pacific Islands uh, about 83%, employment uh, 52% in this case. Uh, moving forward, the key challenges we're going to face is the loss of skills to other sectors and also try trying to keep our tourism businesses, mainly small, medium enterprises, which make up most of our industry staying, staying afloat. So in terms of that, we had to rethink, reset uh, and plan to recovery and moving forward. And our strategic plan is our vision is our Pacific Islands empowered by and benefiting from sustainable tourism, which is our key focus area moving forward. Our mission is sustainable tourism development through innovative partnerships. And we have three strategic focus areas in that, which is marketing, research and statistics and sustainable tourism planning and development. Just last week, our board of directors um, approved our key strategies in moving forward, which is a digital strategy to help our tourism sector uh, transition to digital transformation, a Pacific tourism statistics strategy, as well as a Pacific sustainable, a tourism sustainable policy framework. So in terms of the Pacific Sustainable Tourism Policy Framework, it's a shared vision for a sustainable, inclusive and responsible recovery. Um, the vision for 2030, which aligns with the SDGs as well, is we are empowered by and benefiting from tourism that is resilient, prosperous and inclusive. It improves the well-being of our communities and protects restores and promotes our cultures, islands and ocean ecosystems. We have goals, we also have our priorities. In terms of the goals itself, uh, the first one is basically looking at our prosperous, uh, prosperous economies, which is where tourism supports prosperous and resilient economies. Goal two is thriving and inclusive communities, which is very important to us because our people is one of our greatest assets. Tourism supports the empowerment and well being of our communities. And goal three is visible and valued cultures, which is also another great asset of ours. Uh, tourism amplifies and promotes our culture and heritage. And finally, goal four is, of course, healthy islands and oceans, uh, particularly to tourism accelerating, uh, accelerates climate action, protects our ecosystems, and supports resilience. 
Uh, the Pacific Sustainable Tourism Framework, uh, we are at crossroads, as we all know, and we need a paradigm shift. We need to go back to Pacific values because sustainability is at the heart of our belief system. Uh, in moving forward, revival and sustaining tourism in the Pacific, uh, when we look at it, sustainability now, now means survival of to the Pacific in, in, in this case. The potential from tourism can only be realized by transforming to a model of tourism that is prosperous, inclusive, and resilient and supports sustainable recovery from the COVID-19 pandemic and other natural disasters. The transformation is to a better future, begins with the implementation of this policy framework. And it's not a question of balancing. It is a call to co call for considering both survival and sustainability together. Our regional aspirations is that we are united as a region and work together to advance sustainable tourism through partnerships and collaboration, which is essential. We prioritize green investments to support tourism growth and to work with our partners to mobilize resources. We offer our visitors high quality, authentic, accessible and sustained and safe experience that reflect our own country's unique and uniqueness. So you're probably aware we've got 20 Pacific Island member countries. So our focus is to um, promote the uniqueness of each respective island. We create enabling legislations and policies for tourism businesses to adopt sustainable tourism practices. Following on with our regional aspirations, our islands and oceans are protected and enhanced and our cultures remain strong, which is our greatest assets. Our communities must be empowered by tourism and benefit from it. We protect the vulnerable and provide opportunities for our young people, and particularly the women who make more than 80, more than 60% of our tourism employment. Together, we build resilience to climate change and transition to low emission, resource efficient sector. We invite visitors and our partners to contribute to our efforts to make tourism in the Pacific more sustainable. So what is the role of our eight partners? Firstly, support investment and facilitate funding to support capacity building, which is essential, to support destination planning and better business practices, the development of destination development strategies. Market research is very important to support destination development and marketing and decision-making the development of high quality accessible experiences and products and services, and of course, data and insights for plan planning policy and decision-making. The, the other role that donors can provide and aid partners is to provide technical support to improve regional and national systems for the, deli the delivery of recovery and long sustaining sustainable practices. The way forward for post-pandemic is responsible recovery, regional leadership, country solutions, global and regional cooperation, sustainable financing, and integrated approach and commitment to measuring sustainability. When our islands have opened their borders at the moment, we've only got two, which is French Polynesia and Cook Islands. The rest are still closed their borders. Our islands are yours to travel, enjoy and respect. To conclude, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to leave you with this quote, uh, which is through tourism, we promote living in harmony with nature and communities. We need to be the best stewards of our environment and manage development in sync with laws of nature, finding, respect, and maintaining the balance. Thank you.